Hey, it's Tom from the Blue Dot, and today we're gonna find out how to find the make, model, and ESN on uh, droids. Um, the great thing about droids is that there are many companies that make them in all different sizes, from smaller screens to larger screens, um, from cheaper lines to more expensive lines. Um, the downside to that is that they can all typically be very different. Um, but luckily, most of them are pretty much the same when you wanna look for the make, model, and ESN number. Now, first we're going to take a look at this LG Ally. Um, on the back, you can see that in this back, you're going to want to push it up. It's a little tough, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. You don't want a back to just fall off. I'm going to take this off. And if there's a battery back here, you want to take that out as well. Um, you want to make sure your phone is off first, especially on smartphones. Um, unless your phone is frozen and you don't have a choice, you typically don't want to take the battery out. Um, so once your phone is off and you have the battery out, you will find the make right here, which is LG. And that's easy. You don't even need to take the battery out to find that out. Um, but the model will be mostly right below it. Um, most LGs are VS or VX, so just kind of look for a number that starts with that. Um, but LG makes it really easy because they say right here, model number. And in this case, it's a LG, which is its make, VS740, which would make it an LG ally. The ESN number is very important because that's essentially the droids, well, you can think of it as its name. Um, they're all going to have very different names, uh, but they all start with A, essentially, and it'll be right next to this that says Hex. Um, this number is important because, uh, let's say your phone is stolen, um, you can report it as stolen, or if it's still active under your service, nobody can just take your phone and just go off and activate it somewhere. Um, that won't stop them from just selling it, but it will stop the phone from being useful at all. Um, it's also very important for you to have this number exact because if you go someplace to get it activated and they get one number wrong, it may not activate your phone. It may activate a completely different phone and then cause that phone to be useless. So you want to get that number correct. Uh, most stores where you'll get activated, such as Verizon, um, get that right most of the time. Now we're going to check out, once I get this back on. Now we're going to check out the HTC Incredible. Um, it's kind of the same idea. Uh, the make is HTC, uh, which is pretty easy. You don't have to open it up. It's right here on the back of the phone. Um, but the back comes off differently on this. And instead of pushing and pulling up, this one you just kind of peel off. So once the back is off, you'll take the battery out just the same. And this one is a little tougher. Um, the ESN is right here in the middle. It'll say hex. Um, and HTCs are a little more difficult uh, to find their model number. Um, most of the time, HTCs just go by name. Um, for this instance, uh, you'll have a serial number here, which will pretty much tell a company everything it needs to know. Um, but yeah, typically HTC doesn't actually have its number anywhere in plain sight like LG does. Um, so that's for HTC. Next, we're gonna check out the Motorola Droid X. Uh, the Droid X and Droid X2 are going to be exactly the same. Um, you're gonna turn it around. The make, again, is Motorola. And this one you slide down, pop open. And here, uh, they give you a tab to pull the battery out, which is nice, because not all batteries are easy to pull out. And you'll take that out. And again, make sure your phone is off. And with Motorola, they'll have a sticker over here sideways. It'll have the make, which is Motorola. And right next to it, it'll say a number. Um, in this case, it's MB810. Um, and way down at the bottom, you'll find the hex. And again, even though it's a Motorola, and we just looked at an HTC and an LG, they all start with an A. Um, I don't know if you can see that, it's very tiny. That is its hex number. So put that back, back on, put that down. 
And the last phone we'll look at is a Samsung Galaxy. This is a Verizon Galaxy S, so it is the Fascinate. Um, but what's great about the Galaxy line is all the Galaxies, you'll find their information exactly the same. So we'll just turn it over, and again, like the Incredible, this one's a peel. So just gonna peel it off. And if there's a battery, you make sure it's off. And Samsung make it pretty easy for you. Um, the make, again, Samsung, very easy. And just below it, it'll say model. In this case, it's an SCH-I500, which is the Galaxy S line. Um, what makes this a little more difficult is if you had a different Galaxy S phone on a different service, it'll say the same number. Um, so you wanna make sure you have um, what type of carrier it is. It's very important because there'll be different phones. They can only work on those services. Um, Samsung also makes the finding the ESN very easy because it's much larger than it is typically on other phones. And again, it starts with an A. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in trading in your old phone with us, um, we will typically only need the make and model. We won't need your ESN. We'll check that for you when we get it and uh, review your phone. But those are the two very important information. Um, so typically all the droids will be the same. You'll find the make and model on the back. Um, all these phones are available in our store at www.theblue.net. Um, my name is Tom. Thanks for watching. Sometimes you need a replacement when you least expect it. If you break or lose your phone mid-contract, we're here to help. Save 50% or more on your next phone purchase at thebluedot.net or trade in your old and used phones for cash at thebluedot.net slash trade in. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash follow the blue dot for news on tech, contests, coupons, reviews, upcoming scenario animations, and more.